All right, I call the uh, May Zoning Board meeting to order. And we're gonna start with the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. To the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, we don't have to worry about emergency exits tonight. I'm sure everyone knows how to uh, exit their own home in case of an emergency. I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen. All right, is there anyone who cannot see the agenda screen? Okay, <clears throat> so this is a little bit different. This is our first time doing a digital remote meeting. So we're gonna try and um, work through any issues that we have. What I'd ask is that everybody remain on mute unless they're ready to speak and we'll give a, a pause at the end of everyone speaking so that if um, another party would like to make a comment, we'll, we'll do so, okay? So uh, Gabby, can you call the roll? Ms. Smith, Ms. Turk 11. Can you hear me? Ms. Turco Levin? Uh, yes, I'm here. I'm sorry. I had it's um, okay. I have barking dogs. <laughs> I'm here. Mr. Porter? Present. Mr. Reginato? Present. Chairman Ring. Present. Okay, I'm gonna make a motion that we approve the minutes. I'll second that. Uh, Gabby, can you do a roll call vote? Ms. Turco Levin? Approved. Uh, uh, aye. Mr. Porter? Aye. Ms. Reginato? Aye. Chairman Ring? Yes. Okay, I just want to make a note that normally we would do both preliminary and public hearings, but um, given that this is the first time we're doing a remote, um, a remote meeting, I didn't want to schedule a public hearing and contend with all of the logistics of having public comments um, in the meeting. So I postponed um, the single public hearing that we had until the June meeting, okay? So with that, we're gonna go ahead and begin. And uh, I'd like to open the preliminary hearing for the Cross Point Fellowship Digital Sign. So Pete, if you wanna unmute yourself and um, I'm gonna go ahead and share your application. Uh, if I don't have all the material for you, uh, feel free to let me know and um, we can have you share your screen, so. Very good. So I believe this is where you probably want to start with a, a picture of your project. Sure. Actually, what we're proposing and requesting approval for is moving a digital sign uh, almost across the street. This was the sign that had been installed at Coleman High School, uh, which is catty corner to our property. And we had contacted uh, Supervisor Quigley, um, who got us in touch with Warren Tut, and what they had agreed to do tentatively, subject to your approval, was to allow us to install the sign um, with our commitment to remove it um, if this did not pass muster with you. So, you know, we're grateful for the way that the town has responded, um, just inherently respectful of you all and what you're doing, and uh, we'll follow your lead. I, if it helps at all, I've got. Um, actually a picture of the sign that I could show you on a screen share if, you're, if you'd like that. Yeah, was it attached in your application at all? No, the, the sign had not been there at that time. Okay, yeah, feel free to share your screen then. Oh, my bad, <laughs> somebody else, I apologize. Um, we have somebody else using the Zoom account. Okay. So it's the, uh, I'm not sure this will work for you. That's a different kind of screen share. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That works. Yep, that works fine. Okay. Very good. So it's the, the digital sign that literally was at Coleman High School along with um, probably a 15 inch section of our sign board, which just has the name on top of it. Um, it's 49 square feet, um, which we believe from what Joe Meems calculations were was in compliance with your code. 
Um, this sign was originally installed at Coleman by Timely Signs, who I think Jeffrey indicated was working with you on your, um, your new code. So it should be in compliance with everything that you were looking for, but happy to answer any questions that you have. Okay, um, board, do you guys have any questions for Pete? I was just out there today and, and it looked, the sign personally I have up there, it looks fine. I, I couldn't see an objection at this point. Okay. It looks like it's actually, I want to say, it looks like it's always been there. Let me put it that way. It's, it's blended very well. Okay. And, and Pete, do you know if um, uh, you were provided with the proposed digital sign law at the time? Um, we, we did write one. It's in process to, of being uh, voted and incorporated into the town zoning. Um, did anyone give you a copy of that? I believe Joe Meem received a copy of that. Um, Perfect. Worked extensively with the town. And this, I believe, was in full compliance with that. Um, again, a lot of our confidence with that came because this was a sign provided by Timely Signs, who I believe was helpful in, in writing the code. Yeah, we, they were helpful in doing a demonstration of, uh, of sign brightnesses and, and giving an education on signs. We wrote the code, though. Okay. Okay. All right, um, uh, just a minute, anyone else have any questions or comments for Pete? Okay, I I'd like to make a motion that we move this to um, uh, public hearing. I'll second that. Um, Gabby, can you call a roll call vote? You're on mute, Gab. Ms. Jerko Levin? Yes, aye. Mr. Porter? Aye. Mr. Reginato? Yes. Chairman Ring? Yes. Okay, thanks. So Pete, um, the next step in the process is your neighbors will be notified of um, your plan and a public hearing will be scheduled for, um, I assume it'll be June, uh, but Gabby can verify that once it's been on the calendar and you'll have the opportunity, hopefully in person, to present your project and the general public in the town of Ulster can come and make comments on, you know, any concerns or any um, support of your project, okay? That, so that's the next step of the process. And then after that, we'll vote on it, yay or nay. Very good. I appreciate the approach to this, I really do. Thank you. Okay, great. You're free to stay on or if you wanna go, you're free to go. This has been enjoyable, but I'm gonna leave it to you. <laughs> okay. Thanks very um, much. Thank you. All right, um, I'd like to make a motion to close the preliminary hearing for the Cross Point Fellowship. I'll second it. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Aye. I'd like to open the preliminary hearing for Adam Redder. And I believe this is for uh, an area variance for a shed, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, that's correct. Okay. Um, so <clears throat> the purpose of a preliminary hearing is to um, present your project to the board. And what it looks like is you're asking for um, an area variance in the set in the front and or in the rear and side setbacks. So just describe that, um, how much you're asking for, um, what the limitations of the property are that you can't put the shed someplace else. Um, and just go through your project, um, and then we'll have a discussion and we'll vote to move it to preliminary to the public hearing or not. Um, just that, like we did the previous one. Uh, any questions? Okay. Um, so I want it in the front where I have it on the map because that's a level spot. And unfortunately, I don't have a lot of level land on the property. So that's why I picked that spot. Okay. And you're asking for... A 10-foot variance to the 
to the, I guess that's a Glenary Boulevard. That would be, Jason, that would be a front setback, wouldn't it? Yeah, I, I believe it is. Yeah. And what about to the, the um, is that the rear of the house at the top of the screen or is that the front of the property? Um, I don't have the map in front of me, but um, so you have the front side and then to the right. And then I also own the property to the right of where the shed is proposed. And where is that on, on the screen? So if I'm, if we're looking at your property from an aerial view, can you right. tell me what's considered the front of the, the property where you would drive in from the street or walk in from the street? Was that the Glenary Boulevard? Yes. Okay. And then, so if I'm standing on Glenary Boulevard and I'm looking at your property, what is to the left of you? Um, well, right. So I have trees actually. There's already trees that are in front so that the shed would be behind a set of trees. Mm -hmm. um, so it's kind of like a barrier there anyway. And to the left is your second Yep. Yeah, and to the left is my other property. Okay, got it. And how close to that property line is that? Um, I would say about 10 feet from the property line. Okay, so then you would need, again, another, um, going off memory, it should be ten another, foot foot, variance. another 10 foot variance. Yep. Okay. 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 Any questions from the board? Adam, you have that shed there already, right? That shed's already there? Yes, yes it, it is. is. Yeah, because I'm right down the road from you. Sure. Right, so, I mean, I don't see any problem with it on a road there. That, that looks like it's fine for me. Doesn't obstruct anything, you know what I mean? I, I don't see a problem with it, but. Bob, okay. any questions from you? No, not at this point. I'm just getting the bearings on the property. Uh, it's there already. So apparently I see that as existing shed is where we're talking about the setback, correct? Okay. Yes. All right. So we've got something there and we just want to make it legal, essentially, correct? Yes. Okay. You're not expanding it, nothing like that? No. All right. Okay. No, I have no question. So Warren, was this picked up as a code violation or how, how did this come to the board? Mm -hmm. I won't go into detail, but I was on Glenary Boulevard and I did notice the shed. I will comment that placing it in the front, placing it in the rear yard would be putting it in a floodplain. Flood so we definitely don't want it in the floodplain. Mm -hmm. um, it is well screened from the road. Like, um, like he commented, we just wanted to make it legal. Okay. okay, just to make it legal. Cool. All right. Um, is there a motion on the table from any of the board members? I'll motion to move it to public hearing. I'll, I'll second, second that. Okay. Gabby, can you call a roll call vote? Mr. Golevin? Aye. Mr. Porter? Yes. Mr. Reginato? Yes. Chairman Ring? Yes. Okay, um, I make a motion to close the preliminary hearing. Second it. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. All right, so um, Mr. Redder, the next step, uh, just like you heard um, the previous applicant, um, um, you get with Gabby, but I assume that this will be a June uh, public hearing, uh, again, hopefully in person, <clears throat> and you'll be able to come and um, describe your project and your neighbors will be notified if there's any concerns or support of the project, um, they'll have an opportunity to speak. So uh, do you have any questions on the process? No, sir. Okay, great. Well, thank you for your time tonight. All right, thank you. All right, great. Okay, bye. Bye. Mr. Chairman. Yes, sir. 
quick question about Cross Point. It didn't dawn on me at the time. That's not on any county road or anything like that. We have to go to the county with this. I, I, that's on Hurley Avenue. I don't, is that a yeah, It's on Hurley. I believe that may be state, not county, but I'd have to double check. Oh, that's good because we may have to change the date of the public hearing now, if it is. Something because? I thought Lucas was a county road, but not Hurley Avenue. Oh, well, yeah. either way, we could probably still hold it in June because the county meets the first Wednesday. We okay. meet the second, so we should probably have comments back by then. Yep. Okay. Yeah, I moved our meetings to the second uh, Wednesday of the month to accommodate the um, county schedule so we don't lose a month. Okay. All right. Um, moving on. Um, Mr. Ferrara, can you um, hear me? I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yes. So I'd like to open the preliminary hearing for uh, Mr. Ferrara's project, which I'll pull up here. And if you could uh, go ahead and describe your property and the project that you would uh, would like. Okay. Um, I'm on the corner of Greenbrook and Cascade Drive. My the front of my house is Greenbrook. Uh, the side would be Cascade Drive, and we'd like to put in a swimming pool this year. And I have power lines that run from the corner of the house all the way across the part of the backyard to the telephone pole. Um, that would be the prime spot for me to be able to put a pool, but for safety issues, I don't want to underneath the power lines. And if you look where the drawing of the back deck is, I'm too close to the uh, neighbor's yard which he would not sign off on giving, uh, allowing me to be within 15 feet of the pool. So the only other option I have is to put the pool, if you're facing down into the property, to the left side of the power lines, sort of on the side of my garage and kind of in the backyard there. So it would be on the Kingscape Drive side of the property. Okay, so this is 15 feet from the Cascade Drive? Yes. Okay, I currently so you... have a fence there that you gave me a variance uh, about eight years ago from the road. Yeah, so you're asking for a 15 foot front setback variance. Yes. Okay, and then you're going to move your existing fence towards Green Book, Brooke. Yes, uh, to the front of the garage. Um, yep. That's 52 feet from Greenbrook Lane. Yeah. So I'm already uh, well beyond the 30 feet, I believe, is the uh, code. Okay. Um, Jason, I have a legality question for you. If we are adding to the existing fence where he has the existing variance, we're gonna be adding some amount, the length of the garage basically, so that's probably about 30 feet of fencing. Do we need to add that in this application to, to, um, to modify the existing variance? He's muted. Jason, I'm going to unmute you if we missed what you said. So I just unmuted you. Sure. Um, yes, Jeffrey, I would recommend that we add that into this application. So it, we are also modifying the previously granted variance from eight, nine years ago. Yes. Okay. All right. So we'll, Gabby, if we could get that paperwork um, all sorted out, that would be great. Um, okay. Got it. All right. Um, is there any discussion from the board? Hmm. Warren, Warren, is there any concern from a, a um, code and um, perspective? Well, I, I will say this, that the previous pool that was installed was in direct code violation. Um, the applicant reached out to me, which I performed a site visit because he was concerned. 
and this is the reason that we decided to move the pool. I will also clarify that putting it in the backyard behind the deck would encroach on the sewer easement. So this does seem to be the best location on the property. It's not encroaching farther than the fence, and it does take it, it does put the pool in compliance with the power lines. Okay. All right. Um, so there is not a pool here. We're moving, or are we moving the pool? No, no there's pool. no pool here. Okay. All right, if there's no more discussion, um, is there a motion on the table? I'll make the motion. Uh, what is the motion? Uh, that we allow, is this going, is this for him to go to public hearing or is this? Yes. For, okay, I'll make a motion that we allow this to go to public hearing for the setbacks that he's requested. Okay. I'll second that. All in favor? Aye. Um, Gabby, can, I'm sorry, can you do a roll call vote? Mr. Golovin? Um, that was my motion, aye. Mr. Porter? Aye. Mr. Reginato? Yes. Chairman Ring? Yes. Okay, I make a motion to close the preliminary hearing. So moved. All in favor? Aye. Yes. Yes, okay, <laughs> great. I, whatever. All right, so Mr. Ferrari, you, you're familiar um, with the next piece of the process? Yes, I remember going through this with the fence. Yep. Okay, all right, great. Okay, so, so I'll receive a letter in the mail or a call or something? Yeah, and if, if you don't hear from anything or would like to have any questions answered, um, just give Gabby a call and she'll, she'll walk you through. But um, we're still figuring out our June schedule, but I, I would, assume it would be on for June for a public hearing, okay? Great, thank you, I appreciate it. Okay, Lois, welcome. Take care. All right, um, uh, Gabby, can you just note that Lois is, is now here for the roll call? Yes, I got her. Okay, great, um, all right. I'd like to open the preliminary hearing for Eric uh, Molinaro. Okay, Mr. Molinaro? Yes, sir. Okay, yes, sir. great. <clears throat> so you wanna just give us um, um, an idea of your project? Yeah, so um, to the right where you see the six, 16 feet, 10 foot gate, eight foot section um, that is on the Southfield street side. And then where I have that 30 foot setback, I guess I, that's what I'm, that's where I need the variance where that 37 feet is. Um, it's going to be 15 feet off of gene place, which is exactly where the existing fence is now, but it's four foot chain link. And I'm looking to do the six foot white solid vinyl fence. So that is that 37 feet is I believe where I need the variance according to Warren. Okay, so your project is a fence project. Yes. And you're looking to remove a chain link fence that's four feet in height. Right. That's in compliance today for right. the front setback of four feet. Right. Right. And you're looking to replace it with a vinyl fence in white that's six feet high. Right, and I believe the code is it has to be 30 feet off the road. So I'm looking for 15 feet because I want to replace it with um, where the existing fence is now, because the way I have my backyard set up, it is, um, if I went the, the full 30 feet, it would really close me in a lot on my backyard where I want to keep my kids. And the whole point of the fence is for the safety, security, and privacy of the kids so I can be able to keep them back there with, without having to worry about them running onto the road, because right now I have no gate. And with this new gate and the new fence, I'll be able to keep them back there. Okay, so so just so that we're clear, you're you're act, asking for two variances. The first variance is to take a fence from four feet high to to six feet high in the front setback. Uh, I thought I was only looking for one variance, just to be able to put the six six foot fence within that thirty feet. Jason, I, I, is it six feet or is it four feet in the front setback? 
I'm going to unmute you again. Is it six feet or four feet in the front setback? He's proposing this porch. Um, how far from the front? Uh, I couldn't hear what he said. He currently has a compliant fence. So the one variance is the fact that he wants to put a six foot fence in his front setback. Right. And then the second is he wants to put it 15 feet from the road instead of 30 feet from the road. I think it's two variances, not, not one. Well, the six foot fence in the front setback is the variance. What's the second variance? That is correct. That is I, I thought that the front setback could only be four feet high. The fence, in a, the fence against the, a road could only be four feet high, right? So he's asking to place a six foot fence, that, a six foot fence, which wouldn't be in compliance, closer to the road than the required setback. Yeah, so okay. it's two it's two variances he's asking for. One is a six foot instead of four foot, and one is a fifteen foot variance for the okay. fence. Okay. Well the six foot okay. The six foot variance the six foot height is the one that creates the variance issue. Not the fact that the fence is fifteen feet from the road. The fact that the fence is six feet, because he can have a fence fifteen feet from the road if it's four feet. Got it. So okay. he's, raising, he's raising it. Now, I will also comment that our highway superintendent has no issues with it because it is 15 feet from the road. And there are several, I've toured the neighborhood, there are several fences of that height closer to the road than he is proposing. Yeah. Okay. Any discussion from the board? Hey, let me unmute you, Lo Lois. Um, the, the height of the fence and within the setback, I just want to say we had, and I'm sure that you remember this last year in June, we had three similar situations, same exact size fence, same um, distance, and we approved them. And I did a drive-by also and um, I think it's very similar to that situation is um, my opinion only, but I'm telling you how um, last year in June, Gabby can attest to that because I checked them out with Gabby that we, um, we had the same situation in front of us and I don't think it should be an issue. But. And, and Bob, this is your neighborhood, isn't it? Yeah, I was just through there a few times. Actually, it's on the way to one of my in-laws uh, down there, so. I looked at it. I, I don't see a problem or an issue with it. Just I want to make sure as we read this that you may have to, we have to amend the variance application. That's what I'm thinking. Because it was just, we initially were for the setback, not from uh, four feet to six feet. Correct? I have no issue with it, but I mean, what are we, what are we getting the variance for now? I'm wondering. It's the what height from setback? four feet to six feet. All right. So it says a six foot fence is, is needed. I'm reading it here too. Yeah, I have no issue with that. It, it fits in that whole neighborhood. In fact, it's one of the larger pieces of property there in that section of the street. So right. He's not he's not changing the setback. He's only changing the height of the fence. Correct. That, but that's well, simple. he's moving it closer. Right now, it's thirty feet from. The no, area. no, it's it's staying the same, staying the same distance from the road. It's just going. It's going to be a higher fence. Okay, all right, that was well, my mistake, I'm sorry. Well, because yeah. uh, I'm on Google Earth looking at it and, and it, you, it, it appears that it's staying the same. We just want a little bit higher to privacy so people can't see from the street into your backyard. Correct. So we're going from four to six and that's the variance. Yeah. Correct. Yeah, I look, like I said, there's a lot of properties that are much smaller in a footprint. This is a nice, large, one of the larger pieces of property. That shouldn't cause any problem whatsoever. I probably drive past this about a hundred times a day. <laughs> you too. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I can't see you, Jeffrey. You going in and out? Uh, I can't help you there. <laughs> okay, you're back. It's a real person instead of a silhouette. Okay. Uh, any more discussion? Uh, it's fine. 
is there a motion? Um, one question. Where I think I'm sure it's on the drawing. Where's the gate? Is the gate within the um, setback, the front setback, or is the gate on the side? The gate is well. I guess it's considered the, a different front setback, but it's well off. It's you can see where I have it. I don't know if you can see it on your phone, but I don't oh. know if somebody can explain it to her. I have it. I have it. Thank you. So what, what I'm asking is just going to be straight fencing. There's not going to be a gate on that side. Okay, that's what I wanted to know. Yeah. I think it's a good idea. I, I don't know. Um, okay, I'll make a motion. What what motion are you making, Bob? Public hearing. Okay. I'll second that motion. Um, Gabby, can you do a roll call vote? Ms. Smith? Yes. Mr. Golevin? Yes. Mr. Porter? Yes. Mr. Reginato? Yes. Chairman Ring? Yes. All right. I uh, uh, make a motion to close the preliminary hearing. Um, so moved. All in favor? Aye. 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 All right. So that concludes the agenda for tonight. Oh, good. I can't see anybody but just you. Oh, I see somebody. It's Mr. Reginato. <laughs> <Reginaldo. Hey. laughs> on with Zoom. I like that little white dog. Can I have him? That's not mine. I have big German shepherds. <laughs> oh, white dog. But we have oh it might have been. Oh, it was probably mine. It was. Like it, oh, hi. Yeah. She was there and she's gone. That one. All right. Um, <laughs> Okay. Thank, thank you all. Uh, I think this ran smooth. I appreciate everybody's patience with um, this new technology. So I'm hoping that in June we can meet in person mm -hmm. and um, yeah. we'll go from there. So thank you very much. I, I, I apologize so. for being late. All right. I need a motion to adjourn. I right, make a motion to adjourn. I'll second it. All in favor. Aye. 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 Thank you. Right. Thank you, guys. Bye. Thank you. See you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.